Bye. I don't know where to put anything. I don't know what to look at. I don't know. <laughs> it's very difficult to get across to someone what you've had done without taking an hour to explain. So I'm doing this video for everyone that's got questions about my teeth, what I've had done, what's like the whole journey like, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, that's happening right now. <laughs> Do everyone like my tracksuit? How cute is it? I love it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a sit down video like this for a very, very, very long time. I prefer doing vlogs so much more now. I get a lot of questions on my teeth on Instagram. Um, I've had a lot since I've put the post up about doing this video. So I'm gonna get through them all and tell you all about my teeth journey. So first of all, this is not an ad. I've not been paid to do this video. I didn't get paid to do anything to do with my teeth. I was just really uncomfortable with my teeth and it was a massive insecurity of mine. Just one in particular, like this tooth, the tooth next to my big tooth on one side, it was just my biggest insecurity and I hated it and I would never smile, never smile on photos, anything like that. Um, so it took me a long time to decide who I wanted to go with, what I wanted done exactly and I did wait a long time after I decided as well in case my mind had changed or I don't know, like a lot can change in your mind and what you want and like your opinion on different things to have done and all that kind of stuff so I didn't want to just jump straight into it and I wanted to make sure that it was the right thing for me and my teeth and health wise and what they look like this was a huge decision for me and I'm not doing this video to make anyone go and get their teeth done or anything like that but this honestly was the best decision I have ever ever made and if your teeth are something or anything is an insecurity of yours and you are scared to get something done or you're worried what the others might think like just forget that because this is the best thing I've ever done and I'm so much happier now I have had it done so I've actually had braces twice before in the past and um, when I was at school and when I was younger I had the train tracks and all that kind of stuff went through that whole process for like two years but without going into too much detail I didn't have my bottom ones done because it would have meant moving all my jaw back so I would have had to have jaw surgery to get my teeth absolutely perfect. So I just had my top ones done the first time. That took two years I think. Um, but after that they didn't give me a retainer. I was kind of the guinea pig for this new wire on the back of my teeth which a lot of people do have now but they then realised that they needed to give everyone a retainer as well as the wire on the back of their teeth. So mine moved back. So I got them done the second time, I paid, I think I only paid £250 to have them done again um, because it was in like a certain amount of time. So I had the top ones done again and that was absolutely fine, like did all that. Um, oh no, so wait, was the first time? No, sorry, the first time I didn't wear my retainer and then the second time I had them done again because I'd never wore my retainer. So they went back obviously um, and the second time was the, the whole wire situation and they didn't give me a retainer blah blah blah. So eventually my teeth went back and I went back again to see how much it would be to have them like all done like properly and it was going to be thousands and thousands of pounds. So obviously I was still like, I think I was like 17 at the time, 16 when that happened again so obviously I didn't go through with that. and then. I was just stuck with these teeth that I hated for years and years and years. I saw a more like something in the UK called composite bonding that a lot of people were getting, um, and like all of a sudden, like those different people were getting this composite bonding on their teeth rather than the veneers, like the full tooth. Um, so I like kept researching that, and I was like looking into that and. I found two dentists that were so good at this particular composite bonding and I was obsessed with it and I was like oh my god so now I can have my teeth done in the UK that there will be no like shaving down or anything I'll still have my real teeth but I'll just be able to build on top of them and make them look straighter which I loved 
So I spent a lot of time researching dentists and the two that I found and then comparing them and seeing which one I liked more. I decided to go with Dr. Afan who is based in Bradford. Um, he's an amazing guy, like so sweet, so lovely. Um, and I messaged him on Instagram and he got back to me straight away, like straight away. Um, I sent him pictures of my teeth and um, decided to go for a consultation with him. And then at my consultation appointment, we sat down and we went through all my main concerns, how I wanted my teeth to look, what even like what shade of white I wanted them to be, like everything. Um, and obviously my main concern was this tooth here and I initially went to the consultation thinking that I'd be able to just have Fonzie on this one tooth. Um, and I think it was just before Swimsuit USA, so I was soon to be competing in a contest pageant. And that was like my main concern because I always wanted to be smiling at the pageant. But Dr. Afan specialises in a ABC method, what he calls an ABC method, which is align, contour and, no, oh, align, brighten and contour. So this process is Invisalign, which you do first for a certain amount of weeks. And then you go through the whitening stage, which you take home with you. I'll explain all this like step by step. And the contour is the composite bonding. He sends you all the paperwork so you can look through it properly, you can take it home, make sure that it's right for you. The whole process is explained on paper so you can reread it at home and make sure that it's right for you. And Dr. Afan is always there, you have his personal number, like everything, like there's always a form of contact there. Any time of day you can message him any concerns and he will get straight back to you. Um, so yeah, when I went home after my appointment I knew straight away that it was it was what I wanted to do, like 100%. The vibe in the clinic was great, all the dental nurses were so lovely, all the staff were so lovely. Obviously Dr. Afan is there and he is just like, he explains everything perfectly and puts you at ease. My fear of the dentist was like next level and now it doesn't bother me at all. The second appointment is your Invisalign scan. So um, they will scan all your teeth with a scanner. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but a scanner. Um, and then your Invisalign scans go off to America and then Invisalign send all your sets of what are they called braces kind of braces all your Invisalign to your dentist and then your dentist gives them to you but at the Invisalign scan as well you have to see a hygienist um, before you have your scan you have to see the hygienist um, this is just to make sure that your teeth and your gums are strong enough to withstand the Invisalign and withstand the moving of your teeth um, a lot of people have to see the hygienist more than once I did personally um, so I had the hygienist appointment and then I had the Invisalign scan and went home um, I also had one because I've never had my bottom teeth done before and obviously like I said before the orthodontist that I would usually go to said that my whole jaw would need moving to move my back teeth back so I never had my bottom teeth done before um, but Dr. Afan explained to me that it's actually a good feature to have that your jaw sticks out more. <laughs> Won't go into the details of it, but the history is pretty cool. So yeah, so because my teeth were like like that, like not that, not like obviously as bad as that, but they weren't in line with each with my top set. So instead of obviously breaking my jaw and all that drama, and um, they just shaved down one of my teeth slightly so that my teeth could move in line with my top teeth. Um, some people have more like shaved a little bit down. I know my mum's going through it at the moment and she had one or two shaved down a little bit. I know friends have had different ones shaved down but this, I didn't even feel this happening. Like it wasn't painful whatsoever. I literally did not feel it. And obviously that just means that your teeth are then perfectly straight at the end of it. So I had my consultation and then I had my hygienist appointment and Invisalign scan on the same day. So yeah, after all that, I picked up my Invisalign. I had 20 weeks worth. So every week I had a different set of Invisalign um, for 20 weeks. So Dr. Afan actually gave me all my 20 weeks at one time, but from friends that I've spoke to, they some dentists give like a few at a time and you have an appointment every so often to check that like everything's okay. Um, I would have done this, but lockdown happened. So I had 20 weeks worth of Invisalign. Each week I changed it. Um, you clean them like as normal with a toothbrush or you get the little crystals with them that you can clean them with. Um, you wear them for 22 hours a day. 
yes, 22 hours. So you only take them out to eat. So basically it leaves very little room for eating. It's not as long winded as you think. Like it's actually, you just get into the hang of it and it just becomes normal daily life, which is absolutely fine. You get a little case to keep your braces in when you took them out. Um, I found that really handy, especially before lockdown when I was out for food and stuff and my braces weren't just sat on the table, they just had like a little case and I put them in my bag which is really nice. So yeah, 20 weeks of that. I was meant to have an appointment halfway through, so at 10 weeks um, you have an appointment. Oh, my battery's flashing. 10 weeks, yeah, you're meant to have an appointment, but obviously we were in the middle of lockdown, like hardcore lockdown. Um, so none of the dentists were open and they weren't allowed to open. Um, so I didn't have my 10 week appointment, which I was so scared about because this appointment is just to make sure that your teeth are healthy and everything's fine and your teeth are moving at the speed they should be. It was fine. At 20 weeks, the dentists were open and I was able to go and have my final appointment, make sure everything was fine. I think actually it was longer than 20 weeks because of lockdown. So I think I ended up wearing my last five or six Invisalign for two weeks rather than one week, which meant it like extended it a bit further, and um, which was fine. It just made sure that like my teeth were like exactly how they should be after the Invisalign. So I was quite happy about that. And after that, when the dentists were open, I was able to go back. Dr. Afan told me that everything was fine. Saw the hygiene again, and everything was fine. And um, that was when Dr. Afan gave me my whitening. So this whitening you use every day for three weeks. You take it home with you and you use it in your last tray of Invisalign. So yeah, every night I put the whitening into my Invisalign and wore them all night. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna lie. This was really painful. Um, my teeth were really sensitive. And to be honest, I've always had sensitive teeth. So if you don't have sensitive teeth, you might be fine with this. But I literally couldn't go through the three weeks of this whitening. I had to use it every other night, um, which was fine. And this obviously still really white. An appointment, which was the composite. This was the biggest transformation. This is the part that I was so excited for. So this takes about an hour, obviously depending on how many composites you have. I've got my top six and I've got six on top and six on the bottom. Um, yeah. Yeah. Six and six. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Top six and bottom six. Yeah. This took an hour. It, there was no pain whatsoever. Like the whole process, I didn't have to have any injections or anything like that. No numbing, no pain, no nothing. Um, this is literally just put in, they basically mould the bond into your teeth and make them all perfect or like as naturally perfect as they can be. There's a big load of science behind this so if you're a dentist you'll know if you do this kind of thing. Um, Dr. Afan went through it in a lot of detail but obviously not a dentist so I don't really understand it all but there's a science and an art to this kind of thing so they know exactly at what like position all your teeth should be to be naturally perfect so obviously they're not meant to be like all square all like perfect perfect like you get the look with the veneers um they still look like teeth they still look like normal teeth they're just straight on white like i said it was the best thing i've ever ever done and that last stage was just a huge trans transformation for me and it really did sort that tooth out my insecurity um so yeah i'm gonna move on to some questions that people have had there's a lot of questions but i think i've covered most of them i think there's just a few that i haven't covered and um, what have you had done how long did it take to have it all etc so i've just explained what i had done but um the whole process it wasn't that long from consultation to end product it was obviously longer than it should have been because of covid but um i don't know maybe there was 20 weeks of invisalign but that was obviously turned into 26 and um, but say it was in between 20 like it should have been and then probably two weeks between my initial consultation and my scans and then probably like 28 weeks ish 
four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, thirty-eight. So yeah, it's like that was like six or seven months, but um, it's hundred percent worth it, and you've still got your real teeth at the end of it. <laughs> That's no shade to anyone that has got veneers, like. If I was brave enough, I would have gone through with it and I would have veneers right now. <laughs> but this is just, I feel like, a more natural alternative. Yeah, probably like six, seven months. Um, but that also depends on you and how long your Invisalign can take as well. I know friends that only had their Invisalign for eight weeks or 12 weeks. So it just depends on you. What's your daily toothpaste? <laughs> um, well, the hygienist and Dr. Afan always recommend Sensodyne. Um, it's good for sensitive teeth but since then i've used um another sensitive one at the moment it's one of the expensive colgate ones um which is doing the same thing it's just more expensive than sensodyne how much um once you have your consultation with dr afan you will like go through all of that in your consultation so you'll know exactly how much it's going to cost um but he is always available message him on instagram and um, he's great and he will like tell you everything you need to know about that and um, the composite I think is £250 per tooth don't quote me on that the prices might have changed and um, obviously that also depends on how much how many you have as well you, you can basically you can have I think you can have up to eight I think I know some people that have got eight on top eight on the bottom so it just depends do you have composites as well as having invisalign if so how many and which teeth oh i've just gone through this but yeah invisalign whitening and composites i have the top six here and the bottom six as well um so just do your research but i can honestly vouch that dr afan has changed my life and I'm obsessed with my teeth now and I'm so happy with them. Obviously if you want the veneer look, go for veneers, um, that's your choice but I just wanted them to still look like my teeth um, and obviously I'd had braces in the past so they weren't that bad and um, I just had a few insecurities with these <laughs> and I've never had my bottom done so I went with my bottom one soon as well. This is something that I've thought about for so long and it is an investment but for me it was an important investment especially with what I do my job and so this was like something that I really wanted to do this is not a video to make you go and get your teeth done or anything like that I've said this before but I'm just telling you what I've had done and my experience with it all I know this might have been a very boring video for a lot of people but I hope I cleared everything up and the whole process I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have any more questions at all, please message me on Instagram or you can also message Dr. Afan as well. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, I've not been paid to do this or anything like that. I just wanted to share my experience and I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you've got any more questions, don't be afraid to message us. Subscribe if you want to see more of me, there'll be a lot more vlogs coming and all different types of videos. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of me and I will see you in my next video.